Computer, start recording. So, our mysterious employer turned out to be a Canopian royalty. Lady Ana Maria Centrella, to be exact. And the job she wants us to do is something not even science fiction could come up with. She wants us to secure a pirate base, so her technicians could resurrect a 200 year old ship, the Argo, uh, the problem is in one part that the ship is 200 years old and in the other that the pirates used it for spare parts. I know I said I might not be a part of this job, but if I'm going to risk my crew on this kind of stupidity, I'm gonna put my life on the line as well. I... I seriously don't know what kind of insanity even made me consider this a job. Computer. Stop recording. Computer, start recording. Well, today I ran into an interesting situation. Behemoth decided to dismantle one of the leopards' inner walls so she could get more space in her bunk. Well, I let her keep that luxury. Darius wasn't happy with it, but we could pay that penalty. It's not too big. And it raised the spirits a little bit. And since we're just hours away from reaching LOA, I hope that those spirits stay as high after the mission as they are now. You know, seeing the view from the jump ship, the nearby star, the planet and the moon in front of it, it almost makes this life worth it. Almost. Computer and recording. Computer, start recording. This is the strangest day I've had in a while. First of all, the 200 year old ship actually took off. Second and more important thing, Lady Kamea Arano is alive. And this mission was a test so she could, and I quote, be sure if I'm the mech warrior she remembers, end quote. And apparently I'm quoting her again, everything she remembers and more. The amount of self-control it took me to not snap her neck in that moment was inhumane. Three years ago, I lost the last piece of my family I had left. And I had people I've known for years, who I considered comrades and even friends, try to kill me. And she starts spouting pamphlets like that as soon as she sees me. <sighs> yes, she has been betrayed as well, and I understand that she wants revenge. But she doesn't understand that people who have nothing to do with her wish for throne and revenge will die. She'll figure it out soon enough. And I will be close when that happens.
I do this idiotic thing and pledged myself and my crew to her service. Damn it. I know what it's like to be betrayed. And if there's any chance for her to get back on her throne, I'll help her. She can't be any worse than the director anyways. And helping her might let me even up the score with Lady Espinosa. I know Mastiff would be extremely disappointed with me for holding grudges like that, but he was a battle-hardened veteran. I'm a professional killer with no clear purpose. I apologize to my crews later, saying that if they want no part of this, they only need to pay a visit to my office and I'll write them any recommendation for any company. Luckily, no one came. I mean, they seem to trust me and I don't know if that's a good thing or not. For them, of course, it's a good thing for me. But uh, yeah. We were actually paid quite generously for the Argo mission and that allowed me to hire another mech pilot Call Sign Warlock She's an Oregon commoner The definition of the word klutz and not the most skilled person around but she does have a good reflexes when it comes to piloting a mech she does have talent. And just to top everything off, we found enough of spare parts to put together a working centurion. Yang is currently refitting it for combat. Computer and recording. Computer, start recording. Well, Warlock did a decent job on her first mission, and I finally managed to fulfill my promise to Decker. I pinched myself for this job and put him in charge. It's good to have someone with a leadership experience in your crew. Some days, even the best leaders need to take a break, and I'm definitely not the best. Computer. Stop recording.